Hi you guys, I'm building, rebuilding a Ford WL 2.5 litre engine for a guy. Uh, it's a 2.5 diesel, turbo diesel. Um, and I thought I'm going to record some of what I do, not everything. Um, but especially the timing on all those timing gears in the front. So I'll, I'll, make, a, I'll make a nice recording of that. Um, but yes, this is the basic build. Okay, so this is not the easiest thing to, to view. But that gear there, that one, has got a little dot behind it and it's painted white. I've actually made it black on top so I can identify it. And then I've made this one green in the front, actually yellow, so that I can identify it. And it must always be lined up with that one. Um, and then further down there, oh, I'll change the camera, there's this, a, a gear that's also, a tooth that's also marked like that. So the trick is to get this idler, this idler has got a tooth that's got a single mark there. And it's got a double mark there. So that double mark must go over that single mark. And I'll put that in quickly and show you. There's a trick also to see. Uh, well, I'll change the camera and show you. Okay. So if you look at those machine marks there, they are on the back of this. You can see there they are, and there's oil oil, the oil must be at the bottom. Then you know this idler came of here. So then the trick is to line those two up and put it over that single one over there. Um, I'll, I'll do that. I'm not going to struggle on camera because it's wasting your time and my time, but I'll do that quickly and show you when I'm done. So just to show you the timing marks in full view, that's the one that I marked that had the dot with a white mark. It's now between two tooth with two dots on it. So that the gear behind there is also white and it's got a little hole in, just like those two. So those two, it's always two on one. Like that, always two on one, always two on one. Okay. So over there, that's the one that I marked with a greeny yellow in front. The one behind it is the one that's got the white and the dot on it. You probably can't see on the camera, but I've marked it with my black cokey on top. And it's between two tooth with the two dots on it. And the same over there. There's a tooth with one dot marked white two dots marked white so it's always two on one so this this timing here is done that's the that's the balancer shaft this is just the idler gear this is a crank pulley it's not tdc or anything don't worry now about tdc that comes later this is an idler gear so then i've got to put an idler gear here this idler gear has got three markings on it one for there for the oh, see out of camera you can't see okay um, I'll, I'll move the camera to the side of the engine and we'll discuss that. So this idler gear has got two markings over there. So you know that's going to be a single teeth in between it there. It's got a single mark over there. And it's got a single mark over there. So it can only go in that way. You see, so there's two there for that one over there. There's one there for those two over there. And then with any luck, this one will have two marks on it and that's where that one will go. Uh, but again, first thing, make sure your oil hole is in the right position. So I can just turn this around. There's the oil hole at the bottom. Also look at the, the machine markings. You know it goes that way around and it goes there. So then that goes on. Um, and we've got to line those teeth up. I'm not going to bore you on the camera with that. I'll do that quickly and show you when I'm done. So, okay. Sorry to hold the camera in my hand, but that's the only way I can do it. So there's the two markings there. And if you look down there, there's a single marking on that gear. So that lines up. They actually made the whole gear white. Just to help you line it up. And the same with the bottom one. The same with the bottom one. There's the single marking over there. I've made the whole gear white. And there's the two 
markings at the bottom in between. So you can actually not get the timing wrong. Last thing to do is to put the pump gear on. So on the on the pump pulley, it's the same thing. There's two dots over there. There's two marks on those teeth over there. You'll see those two teeth are, sh are, are chamfered back. And the same there. That one has got a line up over there with that notch. Um, but there's a spring behind. There's two gears here. There's a spring behind here. So this one will be pulled to line up before you push it all the way over that pulley. Which is a bit of a trick. I'm just going to get it on and I'll show you how I do that. So, okay. Ready to put this gear in. So this, this part of the gear is spring loaded. There's a spring behind it over there with two pins that keeps that spring loaded so that it doesn't clatter when it's running on this gear. Um, but so, so what I've had to do, make up this little doodad, just to get that white notch and that gear that's marked white lined up and those two, because those two, remember, is gonna go between. That one has gotta go between those two. And then it's got to slide in and the keyway has got to line up as well. But what they've done for us, they've actually marked the whole gear white, which is very cool. So that we are able to carefully slide it in. And there we are. Keyway is in. Those two are lined up with that one. Those two are lined up with that one. Those two are lined up with the one that I marked, and so on. Before we do anything, we tighten this, check everything, check all the dots that they line up, and then we put Loctite behind all these bolts. Um, and then we can assemble the rest of the engine. Um, yeah, that's it. So remember with these gears, the, the, one, the one will have two dotted teeth, and the one, other one will have a single dotted teeth, and they just have to mesh. Um, and, and that's on, on all of them. Um, and, and if that's one tooth out, your engine is not going to start or it's going to shake. It might start, it's going to shake because the balance is out. Um, so it's very important to get those lined up properly. We're going to double check it now. Um, on the, unfortunately, on the video, you can't see it as clear as what I can see. I'm only using my iPhone to do these, these videos. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, it's easy. It's also not that easy. Um, I'll show you all the marks quickly and then and then I can do a bit more assembly and then we'll do the cam timing a bit later. So started the crank in line with the keyway there's a gear that's marked and then on the idler gear it's got to have two twos remember it's always two and one. The same over here unfortunately that one behind you can't see um, on the timing gear one and two there you can see it clearly there's the two and here's the one when you go to the other side that one you can see clearly that there i've marked it remember this is also a loose gear in the front and two on the idler gear you can clearly see the two pins there and on that side it's one and two um, and then that's basically it and then that little notch was lined up over there all of that's done you know your timing is correct there's a special Timing pin for there, I don't have one, I just used the old Allen cap bolt and a popper of it to push this over because that's spring loaded behind you. So that's the gear timing in a nutshell. So in the meantime I've put the sump on um, and the oil pump and all of those fittings and stuff. But now it's time to prepare it for the next stage of the timing. So on the crank, there's a mark there. And a mark there that marks tdc and you've got to just confirm that it is piston one must be on tdc when that mark is there it will be it should be and then you've got to check over here there we go now you can see it sorry for that so that mark there has got to line up with that mark on the pulley um, there we go so once that lines up like that, then you're pretty certain that the timing that you've done behind this cover is actually correct. 
because <clears throat> that that's the position that the block is going to be in when you when you put your cam and the and the timing belt timing when you do all of that. Um, so I'm going to just do the cylinder um, and and then we'll take it from there. So just to explain quickly, um, these journals are all on top. Remember that's your exhaust and those are two, the two inlet for each one. So exhaust, middle one, two inlets and so on and so forth. So number one, all the journals are on top. Uh, so that means it's on compression stroke. And number four, all the journals are at the bottom. So that means, I don't actually know what the word is in English, but it's in your transition stroke. So it's between inlet and exhaust, where the exhaust blows out, goes to the top, piston goes to the top, blows the smoke out, exhaust valve closes, inlet valve open, and your, and your inlet stroke, that's where that is. Um, and then we're gonna slowly put those caps back. All of these rockers will have to be adjusted, um, but we'll do that in a sec. I'm also gonna put a lot of oil there, and important, make sure that pin is on top. Um, and then we'll, we'll take the next step on the timing just after that. I'm, I just wanna tighten all of those quickly. Just make sure that your numbers are correct on all of them. Um, cool. So, this will show, let me just do that. This will show the timing marks. So there's two markings on the crank over there. That one there is TDC, but you have to check that anyway. Before you put the cylinder on, make sure it's on TDC, make sure that line, that mark lines up. Then there's a mark here, I'll show that just now with the camera right in front, there's a mark there. On the pump, remember all the gears are now in place. That's got to line up with that mark over there. And then on this cover, you have to put the head on, your cam in, all of that before you can even think of doing this. Um, there's a mark over there. And then on the pulley, it says WL there and W9 there. This is obviously a WL motor. So then that has to line up over there. Um, and then you can put your belt on. But I'll show all of those markings holding the camera in my hand in a second so you can clearly see that. Okay, so there's the marking on the crank, there's the pin, there's the mark over there, I marked it, marked it white over there so you can see. Coming over to the pump, there's the pump marks, you can clearly see that they line up. So one, when they line up, you know you've done the gears behind you, you've done them correctly. And then on the top here, yeah, those marks must line up and then you just put your your, your cam on uh, your cam belt on but I'll show you guys that in a second okay so just to recap number one piston has to be TDC then that mark and that pin will line up on your on your crank pulley um, once you've done all the timing gears behind you and it's correct the pump will line up over there on those two marks I've marked them white so you can see and then once your cylinder is on and your cam is in, number one piston, the, journal, the, the, the cam load will all point upwards. The two inlets and the exhaust must point upwards. That stop one rock, four will then be on rock. And then those marks must line up over there. And that's basically the timing on a 2.5 WL engine. Um, only now can you do your, your valve clearance. Um, but okay, that's not, that's not actually part of this video. The video was set up or, or, or done specifically for the timing. Um, you've got to turn that to pull this belt tight um, so that the, the tensioner can do its job and you can lock that bolt. But anyway, I would put Loctite on there, Loctite on there and Loctite on there, just for safety. And Loctite on there, just for safety. I hope it helps somebody.